Where is your introduction, by the way? What happened to it? You gave it to me, and I have lost it. Oh, I took it. I was going to improvise. I was going to look at my phone. Thank you, John, for bringing it, uh, carrying it safely to your desk. <laughs> Renato Amarina is currently working in the Pathways Presentation Mastery Level 4. His objective tonight is to deliver a speech to a difficult audience. That will take a lot of adjusting because we are rarely difficult. He'll be evaluated on how well he deals with interruptions and distractions. He'll not be evaluated on the content of his speech. The title of his speech is, What is in your food? What is in your food? Renato Amarina. Fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, the last couple of speeches I gave, I tried to motivate you to get active and get fit. But there's two parts to the equation. Uh, really active and fit? Yeah. Is that really a good topic to talk about this evening? I mean, in my opinion, that's probably a lot of garbage. Okay, Just well, eat a lot of meat and, you're you know. You're welcome to your opinion. Yeah, we had a guy here. We had a guy here at Toastmasters, this, this fellow Frank, mm -hmm. that talked about you'll get a whole lot more in life and accomplish a whole lot more if you eat meat and eat lots of meat. And then Stephen, yeah. he's talked about the same thing, meat. Okay, well, what, what about the big kahuna and his weight gain uh, clinic? Uh, oh, big yeah. kahuna, I love the big kahuna. In fact, I think you should give a follow-up speech on that. I'd love to hear that next week. Well, thank you for that. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, sure. My last two speeches, as I mentioned, I tried my best to motivate you all to get active and fit. But as I mentioned, there's two parts to the equation. The other part is diet. Now, raise your hands if you think you're already eating healthy. Raise your hands. Great! You guys are doing you excellent. You are, too. You're yeah, pretty healthy. Yes. I try. I do my best. <laughs> but the food manufacturers are pros at hiding things in our food. And even when you think you're buying healthy foods. Right, they got, la they got labels. You read your labels. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to help to do tonight. So I thought the best thing to do is to walk you through a meal plan, typical meal plan. So let's start off with breakfast. Now we've Why all do heard... you have to start off with breakfast? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like to start off with dessert. Yeah. I believe what? you guys are only supposed to interrupt me once. <laughs> I've, I've only interrupted you once. Are you, guys, are you reading this speech here? I've only interrupted you once. Once. And I asked the question. I didn't why interrupt you, you more than why once. Do you, why do you have to start out with breakfast? Uh, why can't you start out with lunch? Okay, yes. let's call this lunch. Okay? What about dinner? We'll get to dinner. I'm not there yet. So Greek yogurt, we've all read that this is supposed to be good for us, right? We're supposed to eat it because it's high in protein, it's got calcium, all that good stuff, right? But John, can you tell me how much sugar is in this little cup of Greek yogurt? 120 calories and lots of sugar. What? Lots of sugar. How much wow, sugar? Wow, how much sugar? I'm trying to find it here. One, let's see here. Total sugar is 17 grams. Wow. 17, 17 grams. grams. Is this that a lot, John? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Now, folks, <laughs> if you're trying to relate this to number of teaspoons, I've done the math. I've, you can Google this, but a teaspoon is four grams of sugar. Wow. So this, right, take 17 divided by four. Teaspoons. There's a lot of sugar in this little cup. Now, I don't know about you folks. But this is not going to keep me full until lunchtime. You think that'll do the trick for you? Look how small it is. This is just, I'm never going to make it. I know I'll be hungry in an hour. Now what I eat instead is this. This is also Greek yogurt. But Tom, can you tell me how much sugar is in this yogurt? Seven grams, sir. Seven grams. Wow. Compared to 17. That's 10 grams of sugar. Difference. That, that's one cup. One cup. Now, not even Greek. <laughs> it's also Greek yogurt. Fire. Now, in full disclosure, 
I can't eat that by itself. Yeah. It's like eating sour cream. So I add blueberries to it, and I also add a handful of nuts, a little cinnamon, and I do sprinkle a little honey. Not much, but just a little. So you're up to 17. So I'm, I'm going to double it. Okay, so 7 grams for the yogurt. I'm going to double that. I'm going to add another 7 grams for the blueberries and the honey. That gets me to 14. <laughs> Shirley, what? is there something you'd like to add to my little discussion on sugar? Uh, I don't know. When we, I, don't, I do sugar all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all, so do I. But I try to cut back on it. Now, folks, why is this so important? Causes dementia. According to the Diabetes Association, in 2017, over 17 no, I'm sorry, over 30 million, with an M, million people have been diagnosed with diabetes. You sure that wasn't 30,000? 30 million. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. I did the research. <laughs> now, I'm passionate about this. Why? Because my grandmother was diabetic. And she lost her eyesight, and they amputated her leg up to her knee. Now, I don't know about you folks, but I definitely don't want to go there. I can't even imagine someone hacking my leg off. Shirley, do you want to add something to that? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> I was just talking about diabetes and the things that happen to us when, we, when the diabetes gets out of control. We can lose our eyesight. Yeah. Right? We can lose a limb. And I don't want to do that. So I'm really passionate about this. It's something really close to my heart. But my you resting get pulse is 48. I tell my cardiologist <laughs> I'm an elite athlete inside the body of a fat guy. That's great, <laughs> yeah. I think you should give a speech about that. Wow. Can't you just take a pill for this? And that's what eat I do. all you want? That's what I do. Well, then you get that's sugar good. spikes, oh, right? Then when it's too much sugar, it goes up, must come. Yeah. Can I just yeah. interrupt the speech for a minute? Sure. I stopped the time. Everyone's role is you do this one time. If he addresses you like you, you stop. If he addresses you the one time he did it, you stop, or he's never going to finish. <laughs> Thank okay. You. <laughs> yeah. okay. Next is lunch. Guys, I don't care what you have for lunch. But if we, let's say the average American, let's talk about the average American. They're going to run out and get something at a fast food restaurant. What are they most likely to have for lunch? So, sandwich. McDonald's. A sandwich or a McDonald's. But what are they going to wash it down with? Soda. Beer. Soda. Beer. Beer. Soda. Yeah, soda. 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 Yeah. Oh, you know. Trevor, yeah, will you be so kind and tell us how many grams of sugar are in that bottle of soda? Um, 69 grams. 69 oh, grams of sugar. That is an amazing number, right? If we divide that by four, what do we get? Twenty-two nine. <laughs> About seventeen teaspoons of sugar. Oh, yes. Seventeen <laughs> in this one bottle. How many of you drink soda? I didn't know there was going to be. Okay, bad. how many bottles do you drink a day? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rough crowd, boy. I tell you, it's really a tough. Crowd. I don't drink as much as I used to. I didn't know there Some was people have two or three of these a day. So that's 69 grams of sugar. Next, dinner. We're going to do spaghetti and meatballs. Now, how many of you buy your sauce in a jar, ready made? Oh, never. Never. Yeah. All right. Now, I've got a little surprise for you all. Right. John Morse. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> how many grams of sugar are in that? Ready made uh -oh. sauce. Let's see here. 11 grams. 11 grams Whoa. of sugar. And if we divide that by four, what do we get? We get almost three. Three. four teaspoons of sugar in this one jar. Four. Do we need it? Three. three. No. Three. I make my own sauce. Don, how many grams of sugar are in this canned tomato sauce? Two. Two. Two versus 11. Now you might say, ah, oh, two, five, ten, it's not a big deal, but it starts to add up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we've consumed on this side, 
166 grams of sugar. If we divide that by four, what do we get? 41. 41.5 teaspoons of sugar. Oh my One God. day. Oh no. One day. Can you see why obesity and diabetes is a problem in this country? Yes. There's sugar in everything. Salad dressings. Did you know there's sugar in frozen vegetables? Bird's eyes, anything with a sauce, there's sugar in it. Bread. Let's talk about bread. Don't go messing with bread. Don't go messing with bread. Oh, oh, let's talk about this. Oh, Kill oh, it. I don't eat Kill that it. kind of bread. This bread looks healthy, right? No. Can you tell me how many grams of sugar are in that, please? Five. Five grams of sugar per slice. Now, how many slices of bread do we need for a sandwich? At least two. We need two, right? So that's 10 grams of sugar that we don't really need, do we? And then we're going to wash our lunch down with what? Soda. soda. A bottle of soda. Another 69 grams of sugar. 79. I eat this bread. Same manufacturer. Yep. Right? Except that this bread has... How many grams of sugar? Please. Say one. one gram of sugar. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, right? But that's what? Five times. This is five times more sugar than this bread. So again, you can see how it adds up. Five grams here, ten grams there, a couple of bottles of soda. Before you know it, you're consuming a ton of sugar. And it's just so unhealthy. So what I'm encouraging you all to do if you don't remember anything about my speech, I want you to start reading labels. When you start reading labels on the foods that you buy, you will be amazed at some of the things that you'll find in your food. Hydrogenated oils, bad for you. All kinds of chemicals and preservatives, bad for you. But the biggest problem is sugar. 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 So, what are you all going to start to do? Read labels. Read labels. labels. And I hope that my speech has now got you wondering what's in my food. All right. Toastmaster.